All right, at the Elysium gym. About to go train with Hattie. Got my dad and David working right there. Haven't seen my my my, uh, my dad since. Uh, so he's he's working hard. This is his new job. So I'm his boss now. Dream on. Yeah. Dream on. You he, have to take it. he calls me boss and shit when he like has to talk to me and stuff. So coming at you with a COVID workout. Currently I have COVID and I'm in my Elysium gym instead of spreading it because I'm being a good boy. So Hattie gets it. That's on him. I tested negative two days ago, but I'm feeling worse today. Okay. So you might end up getting it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try and hit some arms. I feel like if I had to put out a 10, I'd probably like a six out of 10 right now, but we're gonna thug it out. Try my best to. Peep the new um, Elysium, by the way. This t-shirt, it's pretty fire. Not this design, but this like fit. Oversized, it's thin. I like this material more than any one we've done. These are gonna be dropping uh, end of this month. I think we have a few new designs and then we have some more coming in later this year. Year. <clears throat> the leasing gym haven't trained here in a minute. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I've been training at Exile quite a lot lately, uh, so I thought it'd be cool to switch it up a little bit. So, I already did a first taste test of this. It's a super star fruit. I'm gonna dry scoop it. Something about the aftertaste, I, like, I can't remember what it is exactly, but. It's got like a little grape, a little grape to it. Maybe a little grape, yeah. It's got a little grape to it. Oh, that is kind of what it tastes like. It straight up tastes like a pixie stick. Yeah, but that's yeah. literally what it is. Damn, I've had them in a minute. I couldn't put the word on it, but that's what it is. Pixie stick. When I was doing my review, I was like, ah, oh, it tastes grapey. Yeah, grape is weird. Maybe that's just what starfruit tastes like, but it's like really good though. It's like a somewhat sour, but like the aftertaste is really sweet. <clears throat> Gives you that like pixie stick taste. And I think the graphic just looks so cool. I don't want no trouble. Tired of the lies. You found yourself another. Heart as cold as ice. I'm trying to recover. Do you even realize? I'm gonna stop complaining though. Big contraction. I'm just focusing on the stretch and the squeeze as hard as I can. Extra squeeze, because I'm sick, I'm not gonna be able to lift this heavy today. So really hold a, like a quick second on the stretch. And then I'm squeezing my chest by pushing my lats forward at the same time. So instead of just going like this, I'm pushing my lats forward at the same time as I squeeze. Really emphasizing trying to bring my elbows and my palms together. You get like that extra squeeze and it gives you more of a pump. Like it just, when you squeeze harder even though you don't have to, it's force more blood in there gives you way more of a pump. It makes the weight feel heavier than it really is. So that's what I'm gonna do today because I feel like shit. I also heard that when you're sick, if you stay too, like, what is the word, sedentary? Or what's the word, sedentary? We, we stay like in the same spot. Like if you just stay bedridden, that your body is more likely to stay sicker longer. But when you're active and you do the things that you still normally would do even when you're sick, uh, I forgot it like, it like makes your body, this might be like completely false, but makes your body push like killer something cells, T cells, some, something that your body produces that helps you get over being sick um, faster. So I honestly think that it's good to have some rest for sure when you're sick, but if you feel like you can still kind of get up and move around, 100% do that. Like I'm not gonna, I felt like I could still get a somewhat of a workout in and still somewhat like move around instead of staying in bed all day. So I'm gonna do that, make sure my body understands like, yo, we're still chilling, just fight it off, do what you gotta do. Um, instead of me just staying in bed and then being like non-productive, I don't know. I, I remember reading something, let me know if you guys can prove that for me, that when you're sick, if being active still helps your body get over it quicker. <laughs> Cause it isn't 
Try to get like a natty pro card and then just keep it pushing. The, the thing with prep is like for me, if I can get it done in five weeks, it's a lot easier than like fucking up, not fucking up my life, but taking my focus elsewhere for eight weeks or 16 weeks or some people do 24 weeks. I'm already relatively lean. I probably just need 10 pounds and then I'll be. Who do you think would win in an OCB show between you and Max? If you step on stage next to him. Classic him. Men's physique, man. Me. I can see that. Yeah. Classic him great. because I don't have the shape for classic. Yeah, you have more events than Zeke. Yeah, but I do have the shape for men's physique. I think I would, I think I would, yeah. I would do with him men's physique. Yeah, and I think he's got a better. Even his legs, shape. his legs look good. Yeah, because I feel like Max, cause he's got, he's got good mass, especially in his arms and his delts and shit. Yeah. I feel like Max lacks a little bit in his like pec slash. Yeah, yeah, chest. Maybe lat, his, his lats, chest. I think. So maybe he'll not be as wide. I mean, when I open up, better, when I open up in the men's physique pose, bro. Yeah, like, you've got more of that. I could pull this out here, you know. Like, but uh. Really, I don't know what I'll I think I can get a Natty Pro card. Natty Pro card. I don't think I'll ever, I don't know if I'll ever compete. Then you could like, actually, people can't say anything about that. Especially if they're testing it the right way. And they can't say anything at all. You know? If I was like, already getting shredded, like for content, and then I knew that I was like, four or five weeks out from wanting to prep for a show, yeah. maybe I would, but there's no way I would ever do like a 12 week yeah. Too long. prep. Plus so with like, the business. Business always comes first. So That's how I look at it. Business business first, bodybuilding second. In a way though, like, I guess the prep stuff can help with business because it gets like You get like, peeled, but like, especially you, because you're kind of like very, you, you, you operate based on how you feel a lot. So yeah. like if you feel lethargic, it's gonna fuck you. Like, I just kind of like would feel lethargic and like deal with it, but I don't know if I could do that for 16 weeks. I could do it for five. I'll like, for me, I like whatever I do, I like enjoying when I do it. So like for me, if I was doing a bodybuilding prep, it would be for other people. Yeah, not for, not for me. Like, yeah. I, like, you know what I mean? Like me yeah. working on the brand, it's cause I enjoy doing it. So if I'm like bodybuilding and then it's taken away from like my content and my brand and like the fun of it, I'd be like, bro, yeah, like life, like I want to enjoy like this moment yeah. in my life. These are like my prime years. The so thing I don't want to like, if, I feel like if I was on gear, I would enjoy it more because yeah. I feel like I would be like, okay, like I have a fair shot here. I have a fair shot. You know, everybody's like, like I'm on a level playing ground as everybody else. Doing it natty was just like, all right, bro, I'm gonna see what happens. I did, I did end up winning, but I was like, like in my head, I'm like, ah, you know, I'm like, like I'm at an unfair advantage. Like these guys, even backstage, I looked like I was like, I'm gonna get out. Backstage, I was like, I'm gonna get fucked today. Like I'm. Well, getting, it's just not fair, but when you're on gear, you're like more fuller. You're more like it's just obviously there's reason. Why Yo, bro, you would have an anxiety attack backstage. You, you would have Probably an anxiety would. attack I like I because I, once I was looking around because I felt good going into it because I was like the night before, bro, I was peeled veins everywhere. I was like, I'm going to do what? And then I went backstage and I was looking around at the dudes pumping up and they're yoked, bro, like big, yeah. a lot bigger than me. So I was like, I'm about to get cooked. But obviously on stage it's different and presentation is different. But like looking at it backstage, I was like, bro, I don't even want to go up there. I don't feel big enough. I just don't like comparing myself to like another person's, I don't know, like to, to have to suffer and then go on stage like half naked. Also, it's not for everybody. Like not everybody wants to get on stage. Like some people, I just like sometimes like, majority of my life I just wanted to work out to like clear my head, look yeah, better, feel look stronger. Good, like it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, I, I want to, I want to bring this package to the stage and look the best out of all these people. I was just yeah. like, bro, I just want to look better than I did yesterday. That's all, you know? We're at main event, we're at an arcade. I'm about to go play some Injustice with Hattie. He's in town and Kevin. Crash out Kev to remember. We're about to go bowling. Guys, you can see that I'm absolutely chalked. Try to wear a hoodie so I can be undercover and it's not working. All right, so basically I already went one time and it didn't count. The first round I went, I got nine points. Because there was balls in the, in like the lane still, I guess it didn't count it, so it gave me zero. So I'm adding nine points to my score and we're gonna see who wins here. Hattie just won again. Hattie's winning right now. All right, we're about to get a strike. Hattie's 
Daddy taught me a new strat where like instead of rolling it, instead of rolling it like I usually would, where I roll it forward, you roll it the other way, so you go backwards. Or you like put a backspin on it. I gotta strike the last one. You wanna run it? Comment down below who you think's gonna win. <laughs> Steve won like five of them already. You know, I was, you know, I had to dial it in. I honestly decided to like commit and, you know, just teaches you to never quit. Never back down, never what? Never give up. Yeah. Yeah, like you might have, you know, gotta play the system a little bit, but eventually, bro, if you don't give up, someone's gonna come in and open up the thing and grab it for you and just give it to you. So, yeah. well, we got story, get, get some clout and you can do whatever you want. Yeah, get some clout, and then the guy will say, hey, they're trying to get the Batman, so can you come over and unlock it so they can get it? And then that happens, so we got it. All right, uh, forgot to do an outro on my main camera, so I'm on my uh, iPhone. Um, anyways, working at the Elysium Gym day two, I just tested positive for COVID, so day two of being sick with COVID. Um, I'm going to try and work out later today. We'll see at my gym, because I won't get anybody else sick. Um, just working here on some work work for the day. Oh, 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 Alpha Line limited proof out of the month. The Super Mario flavored pre drops on the 12th, which is tomorrow. So Tuesday, set your calendar, sign up on the VIP list. Code Alex will give you 15% off for the kit. You get like the pump and you get the core, which is the first time they've done the core and a limited pump. I expect this one to sell out quick because first it's Mario and second, the flavor is really good. It's like pixie stick. So make sure you guys check that out. Young Lay Drop might be the 14th, I think, is the next one. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. More of a vlog style thing. New podcast, I just filmed with Hattie's coming up. Uh, I'll probably upload that either later today or tomorrow. Um, I'll be more active on the Lions Den channel for more like vlog stuff. Uh, I'm gonna keep this channel again mainly like focused on the fitness stuff. Uh, I know we kind of vlogged a bit this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it though. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go get back to work. Some of this Elysium stuff, working on some next drops. Excited to bring to you guys. Um, that's pretty much it. Code Alex, Alphaline, Young LA, Flex Pro, Elucid, Jackson. I have a lot of sponsors. And Elysium. Until next time. Peace out.